friends to bring up on stage. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Lena will be coming up on stage. Oh, she didn't hear me. To Merlin. I have pre-warned them they may lose the they may lose some of the hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our nice Merlin panel! Give it up for you, Mac and Robert Young and Tom Hopper! Wow. Wow. Hi, I'm Robert Young. I said Rupert, thank oh, you. Oh, sorry, he said it's a Rupert. Rupert. I didn't no, say I that. said Rupert, thank you. You couldn't hear because of the language. He's very sensitive. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Ah, it's naughty. How dare you tease oh, I am, I've changed it. Oh, you've changed it? Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, so welcome, welcome to Manchester guys, thank you for joining us. I'm just going to throw open to the questions because their hands, look, see literally I mentioned... Are you not going to do a nice big presentation and talk about stuff or something? Ah, uh, what did you want? I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well there's a show called Merlin that you're in. Okay. Um, Hello guys, how are you guys doing? Hello. Is it, is it just you? Is it really hot and crowded in here? It is. Yes. It's, yeah. Musty. Well, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys. We're sponsored by Lynx today. Um, right, I've got some people here that like to ask some questions. Uh, Mine's for Tom. In Doctor Who, what was on Jeff's laptop? <laughs> Don't go there. Don't go there. Stop. It was rough. <laughs> Watch out. Put a new cardigan on him. The saddle. Dude, I got, I got nothing for you after that. So. <laughs> oh, and moving on. I'm going to put a saddle on me. If all three of you were in the Hunger Games, which one would be the most likely to win? <laughs> I mean, we, we, we all know the real answer to that is just me. Really, <laughs> because, you see, Tom would starve really quickly because he'd run out of food. No, I'd just and, get really grumpy. Yeah. And then, and then I think Rupert's so chilled out, he'd just be like, no, oh, come on, let's just be friends, and then someone would kill him. I mean, that's a compliment. No, no, it's okay. I'm not offended. Okay, we have a next. We have a question in the front. Okay, um, mine's for Rupert. Um, I'm down here, sorry. Sorry. But I was just wondering, since you were in the Philadelphia advert, do you get, like, a free lifetime supply? Or do you get, like, deals and stuff? <laughs> it doesn't generally work like that. Um, oh, that's a bit shit. Yeah, but, wow. Uh, but I know that I've noticed it's on special in most supermarkets. Oh, you don't? Do you get it? Uh, it's the most special. Um, it's on special offer in most supermarkets. It's not selling that well. They should have gone for Owen selling it. Then it would have done much better. Have you tried the chocolate Philadelphia? Yay! Woo! Someone, someone loves it. That now, question though. is for. Uh, no, I haven't. Have you, Thomas? I've not tried it. I was just curious if you had because you did okay. the advert. Not well, for the chocolate. I thought they might have said, no, since you answer, would you like some chocolate Philadelphia? It doesn't work like that, no, in the commercial doesn't world, no. I wouldn't, no. This is great, isn't it? This is going on again. Anyway. We have a question for a young girl at the front. What was the best bit of Merlin that you played? The best bit of Merlin Pardon? that we played. I think we should answer for each other. So Rupert could answer my best bit, I'll answer Tom, and Tom answer Rupert. What do you think? Rupert's best yeah. bit was coming back to life after getting burnt by a dragon. <laughs> I reckon. Tom's best bit was probably rescuing those small kids. Which, which, it took about five weeks to do that scene. So they just kept going back and doing it. It just gave more and more children and more and more children. Yeah. And my best bit being Owen was spooning Tom in uh, episode 1 and 2, series 5, with my shirt on. Yeah. Good times. Woo! Good memories. I have a question from a young lady here in the middle. Because it's so white, hot and musty in here, can Owen take off his top? <laughs> yeah. I just wonder what's going on with Manchester today. Some of the requests we've been having. And I would, but Tom's in much better shape than me, so I'd be embarrassed. You should ask Tom to take a stuff. 
If you all take your shirts off, I will take my shirts off. That's, that's quite dangerous. <laughs> Literally, there's no response to that. I mean, it sits there. I mean, it goes like this. No, I'm not doing it. Right, right and Paula's turns into the full Monty. Let's, we've got a question from a lady here. No? She doesn't know? Now wants to go to this thing. Right, okay. She was going to ask, did Tom take a shirt off? If you can't choose your own character, who's your favourite character in Merlin? Don't, don't look at me. I was thinking. Uh, favourite character in Merlin? Dragon. Oh, say the dragon. Yeah, say it's a the solid dragon. choice. <laughs> I'd like to be the yuck dag. You know, the the, the, the chip, yuck dag, really? The yuck, the yuck, yuck dag. The thing that looked like the thing off the Argus adverts. <laughs> it wasn't the Argus adverts I thought it looked like. It was a different advert. No, it looked like the aliens off the Argus advert. The blue aliens. No, it, lo it looked like that Jurex ad. Jurex? <laughs> yeah. I did. Remember what other, maybe, no, maybe, no, so that was the ad for Colgate, sorry. We had all the little kind of white men running. That's where you're going wrong. Yeah. Turex or Colgate. Oh, yeah, 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 so similar. That's a big problem. And we have... Yeah, what was your favourite character? Mm -hmm. To um, be more Arthur. Playing yourself. Arthur? It's such a good character. Arthur. <laughs> I would have played it very well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, one person agrees. Woo! Thanks, man. Three, four. Five, six, seven, seven, wow. That's as far as I can count. And we have a question from a young lady here off to the side. Hi, um, I just wanted to ask, like, since the Knights, like, including Santiago, didn't get to spend much time together as a group, like, on screen, um, since, like, until you were, like, having fun, like, before you were kind of started getting killed by monsters and attacks and stuff, do you wish maybe you kind of got to have a spin-off show or something, maybe set in the past, just showing the night sort of having fun and not constantly being attacked and dying and having to deal with serious stuff. Like, do you have like a good dynamic together as a group? Would you maybe like to, I don't know if the BBC would let you do it, but would you like to? What? I, I was struggling there because I think someone lost their car or something when there was an announcement. I, I missed half of that. Did you get that? I, mean, you're, I think you're saying, would you, uh, do we enjoy hanging out with each other even though we... <laughs> like the group, the group of you is nice. Like yeah. All of you together. Because Lancelot kind of got killed off really early on. So we didn't get to see all of you as a group for very long. Would you like to kind of, if you got the chance, would you like to explore it more? Like your dynamics as a group. When you study, do you use index cards? <laughs> just, just wondering. I'm really joking. Um, I think that's a very good dynamic. With the group of us all together, when we first got together in series three or whatever it was, and we all rode in at the end of that, it was, uh, it was good. We all worked good as a unit, and, um, excuse me. Uh, and then, um, it was a shame that Santiago, you know, went quite quickly. And, um, no, it wasn't. For me. Um, Santiago was far too good. Santiago, he still said that. Santiago. 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 Visit Santiago for a great holiday. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, anyway, it was good. I think it worked well and it was a shame. But obviously, we can't go back in time because the show's finished. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but it's over. Thank you, Phil. Oh, made a cry now. Wow. Um, have we have a question from this young person? Um, if your characters were alive today, what sort of jobs do you think you'd be doing? Rather be nice. <laughs> if they were what, sorry? If they were alive today, in like a modern world. If they were alive today? Yeah, in a modern world, what kind of jobs do you think you'd be doing rather than being nice? What sort of jobs would we be doing? I don't know, I think first of all, probably a fitness instructor or something. <laughs> be a good bin man as well. A bin man. <laughs> Why, why would, oh okay, lifting, lifting bins, but then the machine doesn't they? they just chuck it on the back of the thing and it goes Yeah, but you can push the bins and then lift them first. Alright, or he wouldn't actually use the machine, he just Yeah, but you've got to push the in. bins to the machine before the machine lifts the bins. The, 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 yeah, it's, the not, machine, it's not the odd though, mums and dads do it all the time. Yeah, well, unless like, there's black sacks and stuff, the machine hardly Guys, doesn't do that. Yeah, you've got to talk to them yeah, as well. Right. Tom would be a bit... What? What? Strippers. 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 <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I have a question from a young lady towards the middle. This is completely irrelevant to Merlin, but do you like brioche? 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 <laughs> oh, no, I love brioche, yeah. Have you been sitting here all day? Oh, oh wow. 
You know what, that was like a last leader question, wasn't it? Would you like some brioche, she said. I love some brioche. Yeah, there we are. She's getting... Congratulations. Moving on, let's go to a question from this second fellow here as well. Wow, good jump. Wow, good jump. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, the, the brioche distributor. Are you, are you selling these as well on, on site today? We can publicise them. The what? Thank you very much for the brioche. Thank you. Oh, thank you, brioche lady. Brioche and drink, they're on fire now. I wish you knew what a brioche was. <laughs> right, we have a question from a young man here in the middle. Hi, how long did it take to like uh, film a single episode? And if they ever did a spin off series, which I know they won't do, but if they did, would you ever come back? And you're all great, by the way. Yeah, and you should toss a coin and decide who's there to top off, just for the girls. <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> just for the girls. <laughs> How long did it take? It took what? We did three episodes for three months, two months? Two, how many? It was like, it was like seven weeks for three episodes. I think it? it was... Seven weeks is per less than two months, not three months. Yeah, but about, about two months. Yeah, about two months. Yeah, about two months for three episodes, that's about right. Two you months, three episodes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we'd shoot in blocks of three, so... Yeah, about uh, two months. Yeah, about two months. So we'd be shooting like episode three, two and one. Or kind of roughly time. like or one, two, and 11 three. days or whatever you six are. hours or something. Yeah. Two, one, three. And we have a question on the top of the back. If um, your characters knew about Merlin's magic early on, do you reckon they'd still accept him as a friend? Well, no, because then he would have been a witch, wouldn't he? <laughs> Wizard, wizard, witch, it's all the same thing. Warlock, warlock, wizard, yeah, witch. I mean, you know, magician. Hey, the way to this. We wouldn't have found out about it because he wouldn't have said anything anyway. Percival was a bit slow. He didn't even know he was a knight, did he? Yeah. He just put a sword over his shoulders one day and gave him a uniform. Yeah. And cut half of it off. Yeah. I have a question from the back. What was your favourite fight scene? Mine was with a skeleton. He wasn't there and I felt like an idiot when I was actually <laughs> fighting nothing. I thought it was like going to be a viral YouTube video of me pretending to fight nothing. <laughs> but actually when it came out, it looked quite cool. Well, that's why you looked quite good in that fight, wasn't it? Yeah, CGI is a beautiful thing. Okay. Yep. Anyone? Oh, the other fight oh, scene? Uh, my, my, yeah, my fight with you was cool, so... Ah, I was like, no, I no, forget about it now, not anymore. Uh, my favourite fight was with, was it on Arthur actually, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so 12, when we're in like that, we're in Jarl's uh, cavern place. Series 4. Series three. Two, three. Uh -huh. What were those, I enjoyed fighting those, um, what were those mini dragon things called? Wyverns. The Wyverns, I like the Wyverns because that was a similar thing as Rupert, we're all just swiping at nothing in the air. And I love to have just filmed all of us just fighting thin air and trying to hit these dragon things. For me there was something there, I used my imagination. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I struggle. <laughs> we have a question here in the middle. If you could have any um, superpower, what would it be? <laughs> World peace. Oh, Every time. It's not even a superpower. <laughs> well, what, what is the definition of a superpower? Well, a superpower, not world peace. So, well, I, with my superpower, I would make world peace. Honestly, it's like he's going for Miss World. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, I would fly. I would be a Jedi. <laughs> that's, that's, I okay, thought about this that, the other that's, day. That's not a superpower. You can't just... No, I mean, it is a superpower. No, it's you, not a superhero, you, but it's a superpower. You train to become a Jedi. It's not a superpower. You train, you learn. It's not a superpower. You train, you learn, it's but you have to have... It's not a superpower. Uh, this is like a big bang. This is like a, a big bang Hands up if you think Je being a Jedi is like a superpower. I'd say that's the majority. I'd say that's less than the majority because I've got better eyes. Who'd say it you. isn't a superpower? And I say, okay, it's just like, remember the Big Bang Theory and uh, Series 6 when the little chicks are discussing comic books and they're discussing Thor and his magic hammer. Anyone? This is what yeah. this is like right now. And I'm right because I'm the blonde chick and he's a dark haired chick and he's wrong. <laughs> What? <laughs> you're, you're, you're the kind of really dopey one. What's the girl's name again? I don't know. I, there you go. 
It's really pretty though. Are we still talking about Jedi's? <laughs> no, we left that a long time ago. I'm so confused. Right, we have a question from a lady at the back. Uh, what do you think is the main similarity between you and your characters? Between what? Similarity between us and the characters. We all dress similarly. Similarity. We say sire a lot. As in the similarity between us as human beings now, Tom, Owen, Rupert, and Percival, Gawain, Leon. Or does yeah, it, yeah. yeah. So, us and the characters. Similar yeah, not oh, similarity oh, between Sorry, I thought you meant too sorry. That's stupid. No wonder everyone went, huh? Um, <laughs> we I've been hanging out with him too long. Um, don't touch me ever again, sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm really tempted to have some brioche. <laughs> uh, similarities. You look similar. I do look similar to him. Arms the same size. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's much actually. I think we're all quite, um, we're all individuals. Different, yeah. We're all different from our characters. We speak more in real life. Um, Tom's <laughs> hilarious in real life and his character isn't that funny. Um, <laughs> and Owen makes sense in the show. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have a question that's sort of like over here. It's like kind of hidden away, but I'm guessing it's going to be for you. Since that beautiful hall and shape video, has Owen break with any more chairs? <laughs> I'm hoping to break this one right now. That's not, I try really hard. Most chairs are quite hard to break, actually. Be surprised. Did you try to break a lot. Yeah, it, take, it takes a lot of hard work. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, try it. Yeah, he said break it, not... Break. So, see, <laughs> What's going on? The, 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 so I'm so see, confused. Yeah, you just lean back a little more. They won't get the deposit back. Like, oh. No, it didn't break. It works sometimes. You just see the look on the face of the person just asked the question. She turned to me and went, I'm sorry for any property damage. <laughs> Right, we have a question from you. Um, on filming the final episode, and especially for Tom, what was it like when it all ended and when Gwen died? <laughs> um, were you emotional? Three months of therapy. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it was fine, wasn't it? That was like the first time, apart from the episodes one or two of that season. It was the first Tom, time you cried. You did cry. Tom got into character by watching YouTube videos of, of, of me. That's you know what he did. Yeah. Just in slow motion. It's enough to make people cry. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's, That's why it worked. I wasn't sure which way it was working. <laughs> okay, we've got time for a couple more questions. We're going to start with this young lady. Rupert, I know you said that um, there'll be no more series of Merlin, which we all know, but what do you think of the series of Leon? <laughs> Uh, I think uh, it depends. I think it'd be quite fun. Like I think seeing a series about Leon and what happened next and the demise of Camelot uh, as he tries to um, take over from Arthur's great work, I think would be quite hilarious. It'd have to be a comedy, and um, yeah, I think it'd be quite funny. Would you be up for seeing a series called Leon? Yeah. Be kind of like Family Guy, but with sword, you know? Yeah. yeah. Quite like that. Do you know they're doing an episode of Family Guy where he goes and meets the Simpsons? Yeah! Yeah. No one knew that? Okay. I yes, did. There you go. There you go. Can we have a question for this young person? Hello, um, my question's for all of you. Um, if you could either date Gwen or Morgana in real life, who would you date? Woohoo! In real life? Yeah. Oh, well, you can't really answer that because that's going to get us in trouble, isn't it? So no, 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 just, characters. You're just a little... Oh, As in so that's Gwen not real or, life. So. Right. So me as Tom, him as Owen, him as Rupert, would we go with Gwen or Morgana? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I reckon Morgana might be a bit rough. Because she's dead. <laughs> so, yeah, because she's dead. Gwen's alive, yeah. so that would be less sick. Yeah, the whole necro the necrophilia thing is weird, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Owen Rupert. And on that note. I, to quote Jeremy Clarkson, and on that bombshell, 
inside to give a massive round of applause to our Knights of Merlin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you dear. Okay, you're the round of applause. Can they walk with three arches now? Panelists will be signing at the uh, the Stanbridge shortly. They just off to have a drink and some brioche. <laughs> <laughs>